been a minute, but I'm back for another episode of Moment Days. In today's episode, I want to talk about direct guest join on a Microsoft Teams Rooms device. What is direct guest join and how do we enable it in three simple steps? So let's get cracking. What is direct guest join? Direct guest join gives you, the user who has a Microsoft Teams Rooms device, the ability to join a Zoom meeting or to join a Cisco WebEx meeting. And Microsoft has announced a couple other providers, uh, which will be enabled a little later on this year. But for now, we have Cisco WebEx and we have Zoom. And on your Microsoft Teams Rooms device, you have the ability to dial into those meetings. So how do we get them up and running? So as I mentioned earlier on, three simple steps. The first thing that you need to do is uh, open up the MTR admin guide. Now I have showed you how to get to the MTR admin guide. I've dropped a link uh, down below to show you where it is. Or you can do a Bing search to find the MTR admin guide. Once you are on the MTR admin guide, there is a little section that says join third party meetings. Once you're on the join third party meetings, um, it will tell you exactly how to go ahead and set it up. So the first thing that we need to do is ensure that the room resource account is set up correctly. So if you have an existing room resource account, um, nine times out of 10, you might not even have to do this. If it's one of, if you've created the room, recent, uh, room resource account in kind of recent recent months or weeks. Um, but I always recommend um, to, to enable this part anyway, just to be on the safe side and to stop any potential issues happening in the future. So we need to apply a PowerShell script. So we need to make sure that the room resource account, um, we set the calendar processing rules correctly. So on here, it will tell you exactly how to connect to your Exchange Online PowerShell. Uh, so we've got some links across here that tells you exactly how to do that. We even show you uh, a PowerShell script on exactly how to retrieve the UPN for the particular room that you want to go ahead and set up. If you know the UPN already, you can skip straight down to number four. And again, we've got this handy little copy button, which enables you to copy the script straight away. Uh, ensure that you enter your UPN, your room UPN uh, uh, on this section across here. Apply the PowerShell script onto the room resource account. Uh, so that's step one done. And with step two, if you are using something like 365 Threat Protection, make sure that you uh, you whitelist the Zoom links uh, and the Cisco WebEx links, depending on which um, which providers that you want to use. It's always a good idea to do both so that in the future, if you ever decide to switch on Cisco WebEx or Zoom, uh, those links are whitelisted and you won't have no issues whatsoever across there. So again, it tells you exactly how to do it from this part. Once you've enabled the PowerShell script, and you've made sure that you have gone ahead and um, uh, you've gone ahead and you've added the links and then you can tell I can't multitask here to save my life, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and present my Microsoft Teams Rooms device across there. Uh, in front of you, you will now see what my Teams Rooms device looks like. So from here, what we wanna do is um, make sure that you go ahead and hit the more button or the settings button. So we want to enable uh, direct guest join on the MTR device itself. Now you can do this directly on the device or if you are using uh, the pro portal or the uh, admin portal, um, so the MTR admin portal, you can enable it through those ends as well if you wanted to. And I've showed you how to do that on uh, earlier episodes. Uh, but in this case, let's do it directly on the machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and enter the settings. It will then pop up with your password, which you won't see on the screen here, but I'm going to go ahead and just enter my password there giving a couple of seconds for the screen to load up and catch up, and you will be greeted with the settings page for your Teams Rooms device. Now, simply go ahead and you want to move down to meetings and scroll down slightly. And once you're inside of meetings, you'll see very clearly we have the third party meetings button. Uh, simply switch on Cisco WebEx, uh, if you if you want to use that, of course, uh, and switch on Zoom. And then it obviously gives you the ability to join with room info or join with custom info. By default, you know, it's join with room info. I don't have no issues with that. So I'm going to leave that the way it is and go ahead and hit the save and exit button. That's it. You now have direct guest join enabled. Now, providing you've applied the PowerShell scripts and you've, uh, you know, made the safe lists uh, options available as well, uh, then you should have no issues. Once you have created a Zoom meeting or somebody sends a Zoom meeting invite or a Cisco WebEx meeting invite to your MTR device, uh, it will show up with the join button here on the right hand side. And just like any other 
um, uh, meeting request that comes through, you simply will go ahead, hit the join button, and then that will then dial you directly into the meeting. Now, if you aren't using things like um, uh, lobbies and stuff, you have to wait for uh, the person that's in the Zoom meeting to accept you into the lobby, etc. Now, there are a few restrictions in place. Um, because of the technology that's used, we effectively we use what we call WebRTC in order to make that connection. Um, in layman's terms, it's using a web browser in the background to effectively create in, uh, to dial into a Zoom meeting or to dial into a Cisco WebEx meeting. It means we have a few restrictions. The point is, using direct guest join enables you to be able to do 99% of what most people will do in a meeting, which is your video, audio, uh, share contact, maybe a bit of chatting in there as well. So remember guys, three simple steps. Enable the PowerShell script, make sure the safe links are set up correctly, and then enable direct guest join either on the MTR or via the Teams admin center or the pro portal. I should get you up and running to dial into those Zoom meetings and Cisco WebEx meetings. With that in mind, thank you so much. And I shall hopefully see you guys next week.